Hello, hello, scrapbookers. This is Megan, and I am back today, finally doing a quick flip through of all of my December daily albums. I had planned on doing this last week and posting it last week, but it never happened. So I apologize about that. I also apologize that I haven't been back on since last week, pretty much. <laughs> my life just kind of exploded. Um, it has kind of calmed down, not really too much, but you know how December is. I'm trying to get caught up on December daily. It is already December 8th and I haven't done a single thing in my album at all. A single thing. So I'm kind of freaking out, but I'm trying not to be too crazy about it and I'm trying just to keep it fun. So I thought for today, I would just kind of do a quick little flip through of all of my albums. So you can see them stacked up here. I have participated in this um, fun project for this year will be my fourth year, but funny story, I actually have four albums. So this is my first year's album, second, and then last year, which was my third year, this is my third year's album. So I have this one and this one, and this I found a random six on the floor or a nine. It could be a nine. I don't know where it came from, but I am waiting on my Allie Edwards um, album. I did buy one from this year, and I think that my December Daily from last year, 2016, should fit in her album because her album is about two and a half inches thick, I think, and I think this year should fit in her album. So. Let's cross our fingers because I hate that it's in two different albums, but I just had so much last year that I had to put it in two albums. So I'm going to start out with my first year, which was 2014. So let me move some stuff around here. I just did my Black Friday haul video, so you can look forward to seeing that video. And I spent way too much money, you guys. Did not spend as much as I could have, but I spent way too much. Okay, so my first year, I w applied to be a guest designer, or I think I applied to be on a design team back in 2014 for Hippo Hydrangea. They didn't um, accept me to be on the design team, but she did ask me to be a guest designer for the month of December. So she sent me my kit in November, early November, and I decided that year that I was going to do a December daily. So I did all of my foundation pages and everything before the month of December, which was awesome. All I had to do on that specific day or whatever was put the photos down on the pages I had created. So this cover has not held up very well. Um, as you can see, I did have to kind of replace this down where it was supposed to go. It was kind of hanging out over here. Um, this used to have the number 20 there, doesn't anymore, which is fine, totally fine. Um, and I'm missing the D on December daily, or on the word daily. So we're just, you know, December daily. I mean, that, that works, right? <laughs> um, so it is kind of falling apart, but it's all good. Okay, so this is just a, I think it's one of those snap albums or something like that. So it's only like an inch, maybe it's an inch and a half. So it's really not that big. First up, I have our elf coming back and I am just going to quickly go through these pages. This is day two here and here. I'm not gonna explain anything. If you want to see an in-depth um, review or overlook of this album, I will leave links below to all three of my album shares. So day four, day five, and I really, I love this album. I really love it, but it is kind of crazy and all over the place. Like this page is a bunch of the branding strips from the papers and just scraps and things. Kind of crazy. Um, she gave me a humongous pack of embellishments with like big things and buttons and all this stuff. And I was trying to use a wide variety since I was doing it for a guest design team spot. I wanted to use a lot of the embellishments and papers and things that she gave me. And so that's what I did. 
Tinian was sick on this day. He was, how old was he? He's seven this year, so he was four, right? In 2014, he was four and a half. So, yeah. So these are, I really like these pages that I added in. I had these in my stash. And so I just added those in on a few of the days. This is day number 13. And I loved these beautiful little uh, bead things that she sent in the kit. And then also this um, festive, whatever this is called. I can't remember what that's called. But I really had a lot of fun making this album. If I were to go back and relive that year, I probably would do it quite a bit different. Um, I mean, I love it for what it is, but my style has definitely, definitely changed. I have lost a number here. It's floating around in my stash somewhere because I just glued it onto the page since there wasn't really anywhere to put it on either one of these little cards. Isn't this a cute photo of my husband and I? This is back in 2014 when my hair was short. And I, this is one of my favorite photos of us together. I love this photo. Day 22 and day 23, 24. We always go see a movie either on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. And so this is just us at the movie theater, Brennan looking for presents and then reading a Christmas story. And then this is day 25, Christmas Day. So for this, um, for this album, I did stop at 25 because as you can tell, it is overflowing. <laughs> it is so much bigger than the album. Okay, so that is 2014. Now 2015, woohoo, we're only at seven minutes. I'm so impressed with myself. Um, I love this cover. I love these words and, or not words, these numbers. I got these from Studio Calico and then I just glued down December Daily down there and these have held up really well to the wear and tear. I did cover this album on the outside because it was kind of a flimsier album. I'm not sure I really like it now though because it is kind of, I don't know, falling apart like this is kind of coming off. Um, and stuff. So I'm not really sure how much I like that. Okay. So this was my cover page and then day number one. And this is using the infamous Christmas collection from, oh goodness, Pinkfresh Studio, I think. That's who these are from. And then I also bought some cute little Fox stickers from Michael's. This year in 2015, I was huge into planners and things like that. So, um, yeah, this year I kind of went crazy with planner stuff. So I bought a ton of like planner stickers and things like that. And that's why I got those foxes to put in my planner. So this was the first year we had max. So I think this album is really, really max crazy heavy photo wise. Um, so this is day two, day three. This is one of my favorite photos. I love that photo. It got a ton of glitter on it though, from the washi tape that I used. So that's kind of sad. Day four, day five. Five. With this year, I used a lot of different um, size of photos, which I really do like. There's our decorations, day seven. And this one, I, let's see, day eight. So I did do a, use a lot of photos on this one. I really love this page. I love these cute bows. And then this little uh, foam, not foam. What is this? Rubber. Rubber charm is one of my favorites. Day nine. Oh, this one says 10. So day 10, day 11. And then this one. I think this is still day 11, but for this one, I didn't have enough pictures to put 
on the back side of this. So what I decided to do, and you can kind of tell, um, is I just glued a piece of paper to the back of that uh, sheet or whatever pocket page. So this is, oh, so that is day 11. I had like a million pictures for day 11, apparently. So those are all day 11. Let's see, day 12, Jonas got sick. Day 13, hanging out at home. Day 14. Oh, and this one has a little flip pocket. That's another thing that I really liked about this year is I used flip pockets. Day 15, day 16, 17. Oh, and there's Max. He had to participate in the video. My husband went to go see Star Wars with a friend. Day 18, day 19, day 20. So this one I kept to the pocket pages a lot more. And I think I really like that a lot better. So that is one of the things that I'm going to keep with this year as well. So on Christmas Day, let's see, no, Christmas Eve, we went to go see the new Star Wars movie. So here's a picture of my husband and the kids at the movie theater. And then we also got a little booklet, a Lego booklet. And so I just um, clipped our ticket or tickets, because there's five of us, I clipped our tickets to it. And then you can open it up and kind of flip through it and stuff. I did have to cut it down. As you can see, I cut off some of the, the words, but that's okay. I wanted it to be able to fit in a page protector so that it, it would actually last through the years. So I'm okay with the fact that I had to cut it down. Ah, okay, I'm just going to stick that back in there later. Okay, so day 24. This is a continuation of 20, the 24th. This is us opening up our pajamas. We do Christmas Eve pajamas. And then this is day 25. So I added a ton of photos this year for day 25. And I really like that. So then this year I decided that I would do continue through to the 31st. So here's day 26. Looks like I don't have a 27, 28, 29. Um, here's the 31st and here's more of the 31st. Whoa, sorry. I hope you can't hear her, but Piper is like, come pay attention to me. <laughs> so that is day or year 2015. I apologize about my dogs. Of course, they start acting up the minute, you know, you want to record and have them be quiet. So here, oh, and see this one's falling apart too. I thought I had glued this one on right here, but apparently I did not. So I um, really liked the simple look of this. And this one is staying together pretty good. Um, but if I get this other album and can fit this year in there, I am going to do that. Okay. So this is my cover page. I made this for Spiegel Mom Scraps and I got this idea from Pinterest and I really love it. So here's day one day two. And I did a lot more filler pages. I also made this one for Spiegel Mom Scraps. I made a little pocket here with sequins. And then I put all of our favorite movies down here. Winter Joy. So I did the page here and then I did the journaling on this side. Day four. Uh-oh, it looks like I'm missing something there. I probably was going to do some journaling and just never did. So this is day five. Day five still. And then this is day six. And this is my favorite. Um, let's see. I don't think I have anything on the back of there. But um, on day seven, I went to Starbucks. So this is day six. And I incorporated the Starbucks. Um, 
into the spread. So this is the kids and Mark watching and playing Star Wars and Minecraft. So I outlined star, then used wars from an alpha set. I love it. Okay, so then this is another Spiegel Mom Scraps spread. Um, oh yeah, so apparently I haven't finished this album. So I loved this uh, sequin mix that she made last year. So I went to Starbucks this morning. You can see that I had my breakfast roll and my chestnut praline latte there. And I decided to create my own little pocket page. So I did, and I really love it. This is my favorite, favorite spread of all time. So um, breakfast, laundry, and a Christmas program. So I have pictures right there. And then I also have more pictures on this cute little tag about, you know, everything that happened that day. So this is definitely my favorite spread from, from last year. I also incorporated, um, uh, what are these called? Christmas cards from friends in my album. And, oh, I think I put that there for my album share so that, you know, it wouldn't, the privacy, you know, um, number eight, day number eight, number nine, number 10, 11, more, um, Christmas cards from friends and family and day 12, 13, And then this is a Christmas card from my dad. Um, he is an artist and he made this um, card. He, I think what he did was he made something um, like a physical thing and then just copied it and made it into cards for Christmas. So I didn't want to punch holes in it because it's just gorgeous. And so um, I just stuck it in a pocket, a six by eight pocket some more family and then a card from my mom. And then that is where this album stops. And then I pick it back up and hold. See, this one is not faring very well. I should probably put this in a page protector, but I just think it's cool to have so many like um, just little things, but here is a photo on the 16th. Uh, we got a big snowstorm that came. So here's the, ki the kids playing outside and shoveling. And then here is a cool tree. I might blow this up to be bigger than if it's not sticking very well in the album. Okay. So this is day 16. Like I said, time at the post office, day 17, Day 18, 19, 20. Um, like I said, I bought a ton of these in 2015 and I never used them all. So I incorporated them into my albums this year. Some more cards from friends. Mary and Bright. I think this card was from my dad. And then um, another Christmas card. This one needs to be included with this. So I think what I'm going to do is put um, a little pocket there, but I haven't done it yet. Obviously, um, that's my in-laws card that they sent out. And then this is, um, I actually took this photo. It's a coworker of my husband. Um, I took this photo and then Mark made this little card for them and they gave one to us. My cousin and her kids, day 22, 23. On the 23rd, I think we went out to eat. So here is just a drawing. Um, and then here's Brennan's drawing. And then this is, yeah, this is the 23rd still. And then here's the 24th. Some more Christmas cards, another photo of the 24th, and then let's see, this is, I think this is still the 24th, yeah. So this is the stockings before we went to bed, and then the Christmas tree, and then the 25th, deck the halls. Okay, 
So I made, my husband is funny. Um, yeah, so we always set out cookies. Tinian wanted to put out carrots for the reindeer. So my husband made this little um, card from Santa uh, so that my kids knew, you know, Santa was saying thank you. I thought it was cute. Then here we are at the movie that we went to and I did some journaling and I spelled Disney wrong. Um, this is the present that Brennan gave us. Well, this is the like book, um, the wrapping that Brennan did. And here's some more um, Christmas day. So yeah, that is all of my December dailies. And that took 30 minutes. I'm impressed, aren't you? Normally it takes me 30 minutes to do one. So I hope that you have enjoyed seeing kind of an overview of my journey through the December daily album land and um, make sure to keep coming back to my channel this year. I am going to try to make an attempt from now on to post at least once a week my December daily journey for this year. So thank you for watching. I hope that you are having a great December and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.